Hi and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install hinges using hand tools. Let's jump right in. To begin with, we want to mark round our hinge. Now you can do it this way and try and line it up. I find it easier to actually turn the hinge over and butt the knuckle of the hinge up to the piece of timber. And we're going to take our knife, and we're just going to do a gentle pass round the outside to start with, just to sever them fibres. Now if you go too deep, the knife's going to have tendency to wander off and follow the grain which is what we don't want now you've done a couple of light passes you can actually go back and do a heavier pass to really establish that line change away just one more I'm going to pencil this in just to make it a bit easier for you to see, but this is purely for you guys. Next we're going to move on to the chopping, but before we do that, as you'll probably know to this, and you haven't got the muscle memory led up, it's advisable just to put a line just down to your depth. You know, if you're really worried about this, you could set up a gauge to this thickness and run it along, or... You could even just hold it and run the line along just to make it a little bit easier for you. Then we're going to move on to the actual chopping. So we're going to start by putting our chisel in maybe about a mil, mil and a half away from the line and doing a chop. Same on the other side. Then we're going to actually put our chisel on about a 30 degree angle and do a chop. I'm going to carry that on right the way along. And we're going to use the back of our chisel just to remove as much of that waste as you can. Now we're at this stage and we've got the uh, most of the loose chippings removed. We're going to take our chisel and we're going to do a pairing action. What we're going to do is we're going to put our finger just underneath, rest the chisel down on our fingers, and just rock the chisel in back to that line. Now you'll be tempted here to actually put your hand behind, but if you slip, that chisel's going to go straight in, so make sure you keep your fingers in front. I'm going to use the chisel on the back, just to scrape along that back edge. And we're actually going to put the hinge in and see how we're looking. It's not too bad. We're a little bit tight in the width, and we need to go back a touch. We can go back in with the hammer, right into our cut line this time, and give it a chop, same on the other side. Remove that. Try that again. Now that's nice, we're happy with that. Now we're at this stage and we're happy with the fit up, we're flush. What we're going to do is we're going to take a bradle and we're just going to place it into the back corner, not into the centre. Let's try and get you a little bit closer there. Right into the back, we're going to make our mark. Same on that one, right into the back, right into the back. And what's that, what that's going to do is 
when we drive our screw in, it's going to pull the hinge down and back into this line here, closing up any gaps if you have some. Now it's time to put the screws in. Now I generally start with the middle screw because if you start with one of the outside two, it can actually pull this back and pull this side out. Whereas if you put the middle screw in, it'll pull the whole hinge back evenly. We go I'll come back to you when I've got the other two in now we've got our hinge in we're all happy with it we're happy with the depth we've got our screws we're happy with the gap along the back it's time to uh, mark the hinge out onto your frame your door whatever your other work pieces I've actually got this packed out because my screws are a little bit too long so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the door frame box lid whatever up to the other piece so they're touching we're just going to take our knife, we're going to put a little dink in there, a little dink on this side, right up on that hinge. That's going to transfer our two marks across. I don't know if you can see one there and one there. Then we can take our other hinge and repeat the same process for the other one. I'll come back to you when I've done that. And there you have it, we're all done. Hi and welcome back to the channel.